This is Professor Thad Starner. Today we're going to talk about linear regulators. Linear regulators are used when we want to convert one voltage to another. Say I have something like this 9 volt battery, but yet I want to use, the, use it to power a 5 volt circuit, say like the Arduino we use in class. Well, I use a linear regulator to do that. Linear regulators, like I said, take in, can take in uh, one DC voltage, put out another DC voltage. Now I happen to have, in my storehouse of parts, this random piece of electronics that said a 5 volt linear regulator. And I did not know anything about this before this video, so I, I had to look it up. So I looked very carefully at, in this case, the second line. Um, the first line turned out not to have very much interesting in it. Second line is 78L05AC. Well, going online, uh, just typing that number into Google got me this PDF. And this PDF tells me how to interface with the circuit. So it looks like a, a transistor package. It's a circle and a flat spot on it. And the top line is input. The middle line is common, where you're going to hook, hook your negative line of your battery to. The output is where you're going to get your positive side for your output. So my 5 volts between my output and my common. Okay. So in order to show what I want to do with a circuit, I actually um, uh, needed to make sure that I could get used 9 volts with it. So one of the things I did is also looked at the PDF again and scrolled down until I found the input uh, numbers for it. And indeed, it says here that the input voltage can range from, let's see here, 78L05AC, from 7 volts in to 20 volts in. Well, 9 volts is within that range, so I'm good. Also, it shows that my maximum output current is 100 milliamps. I gotta be careful about that because if I exceed that, the linear regulator will not provide the proper voltage. So, I gotta be careful not to exceed that. Okay. So, now I've designed a circuit to show uh, some of the power issues I want to here, and that involves 9 volts on, the inside, on one side, getting 5 volts on the outside, going through a 220 ohm resistor, then going through an LED. Now, that circuit's already um, uh, installed here. You can see everything is hooked up again. In this case, we got 9 volts going in on the input side, which is on the right side of the, L of the linear regulator from your viewpoint. And the uh, resistor is 220, red, red, brown as expected, and the LED going from the resistor to the ground. Okay, now what I want to do is talk about the efficiency of this linear regulator. So you pay a price with linear regulators in heat for your step down in voltage. And it's directly related to how much voltage you're stepping down. So let me actually measure the current on the 5 volt side of the, of the uh, um, circuit just to uh, make this point. So I'm going to measure the voltage drop across the resistor. And that's about 1.5 volts. Okay, so that means that the voltage drop across the LED should be the rest of the voltage drop. So since 5 minus 1.5 is 3.5, that should be what we get. And indeed it is. So there we go. So 1.5 volt drop across the 220 ohm resistor. But from that, I can get the current on that side of the circuit. So we know that I equals V over R, which equals to 5 volts over 220 ohms. Oh, excuse me, that's 1.5 volts. Uh, that I measured the voltage drop there over 220 ohms, which is equal to 0 0.0068 milliamps. Sorry, 0 0.0068 amps. And that's approximately equal to, we'll say, 7 milliamps. And that'll be, make this a little bit more convenient. So, how much power is that side of the circuit using? Well, P equals V times I, so that's equal to. Again here, that, that's the power for the entire uh, right-hand side of the circuit here. So that's 5 volts times uh, 0.007 amps, which equals 0.035 watts, which is equal to 35 milliwatts. Okay, well, the amount of current on the output side of the circuit is equal to the amount of current on the input side of the circuit on the linear regulator for all intents and purposes. So we can figure out the power on the other side by doing the same equation, but 9 volts is our input and 0 0.07 amps, and that equals to 0 0.063 watts or 63 milliwatts. 
So what's the efficiency here? Our efficiency is equal to the output wattage over the input wattage, which is approximately equal to 56%. Okay, now here's a question. Where is all that extra power going? Well, it turns out it goes to heat. Your re linear regulator, matter of fact, you can barely feel, feel it here, but it's getting slightly warm. Um, and so we gotta actually watch out for that whenever specking these linear regulators. In fact, most linear regulators will have some sort of metal backing like this one does. This is a 3.3 volt linear regulator. And it will dissipate heat through this metal band. Now if my um, output current is too big, if my load, whatever I'm trying to run, is too much, that this thing has to dissipate too much heat, uh, it will burn itself up. So there's a couple of things here. You always got to calculate the um, voltage drop uh, and uh, take the voltage drop into account and take the um, uh, 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 current that you're going to do, the load, from your output side in order to figure this out. Now in this case, like I said, we have 63 milliwatts minus 35 milliwatts. And that's equal to 28 milliwatts of heat that's coming out of this thing, which is fine for this size linear regulator. Okay, so I will see you next time.